This is how it's going to work on the House of Phoenix. Uh, yeah, so House um, of we're going to have the camera facing me when I'm teaching. <laughs> I'm actually the I'm actually the tech person for the House of Phoenix, so it's gonna go super smooth on everything. I actually, baby, I well, love. I mean, Catherine. I mean, creator of House of Phoenix. I was actually super excited to start because you were right here behind me in a yoga pose. Hi, Chip. Oh, yeah. and naked. That's the naked. Um, the okay, let let me let me get my my hosting hat on after that malfunction at the beginning. I'm not <laughs> Catherine. I am not Catherine Budig, but I am joined by Catherine Budig, creator of the House of Phoenix, and she is over on her other Instagram handle, House of Phoenix, so please go follow that if you don't. I'm Kate Fagan. I have other things that I do, but for this, I am your wife. That's true. And we are here to chat about the House of Phoenix because I have been... House right now. I'm downstairs. <laughs> upstairs. And we... <laughs> Separation anxiety. <laughs> Yes, we do. Uh, this is the far longest we've been apart for uh, two years. So it's hopefully we can survive this. Um, but thanks to everybody for hopping on. It's been such a fun few months watching Catherine, watching the inner workings of creating the House of Phoenix. So while we keep dropping this name, the House of Phoenix, let's just start there, Catherine, and, and, and tell everyone on here what the House of Phoenix is. Yeah. So House of Phoenix, for those of y'all who have been following here, um, is my new baby, is, is our new baby. Yes, I love seeing those hearts. Um, this is something, it, it, it's a joining of all of my passions with a deep focus on yoga. I'm going to be coming live twice a week with yoga classes. There's a replay library. Um, I've got this thing called Moving Mythology, which is going to happen once a month, which I am super excited about. And sure, Megan, we'll adopt you. Um, <laughs> super, super pumped because I'm going to be talking y'all through a favorite myth every single month and then basing an entire class on the myths. And we've got Phoenix friends. So I'm bringing on some of my near and dear um, colleagues and friends and teachers and mentors, and they're going to offer their goodness just so you get a little taste in the house so then you can go follow them. Lauren, yes, there is an app and stay tuned. All those technical details are gonna be revealed soon. Um, and uh, there's gonna be cooking classes. I'm gonna have some cooking classes for y'all, an app where we can talk to each other all the time. Um, this was because the Inky Phoenix, my book club, you know, I fell so deeply in love with the members of the book club and we started doing monthly Zooms and I got addicted to this family. And that's what I want to create with the house is I don't want this just to be where you go do yoga. I want this to be our house where it's the next best thing to being in a studio in person and um, can't do it without y'all. So <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. And you can't do it without me or Ashi, right? That's I true. Mean... I'm going to make an appearance in a second. She did a drive by a second ago. Oh, she's, she's slowly stalking towards me. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, I, I feel like uh, I'm oh. going to try to moderate, but you are so good at jumping in because I was going to tell the people, one, I pinned the website, the House of Phoenix right there. I mean, my technical difficulties on the outside, I didn't have the camera facing the right direction. Hi, Ashi. But I did pin that comment with the website for the House of Phoenix and put whatever questions you have in there. And, and so, so, Catherine, please, I'm just doing my moderating duty. Someone was asking about like time frames because it sounded like they were from the UK. So go for it. Yeah, and Britt, here's Ashi. That's what's up. Um, time frames. I what we're gonna do, and this is all can change. And this is what I mean by it's a family. Month to month, things might switch it up because we're gonna keep doing what works for all of us. So we're on the East Coast. We're coming through from Charleston, South Carolina. So every Tuesday, Thursday, I'm gonna go live at 11 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. So it's East Coast time in America. Um, I didn't want to go too early for my West Coasters, and I didn't want to make it too late for our my Europeans and I mean, obviously there's no way to get every single time zone. But um, the good news is right after the live, it's gonna go whoop right into the replay library so you can access it. Ashi's very excited about that. Also, my movie mythology classes is going to be the first Sunday of every month. So for those of you who work Monday to Friday, can't do lives, you're gonna have that Sunday every month. So hopefully you can join me there. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like the Olympics. If you can't watch it live, you can watch the uh, you can watch the replay later. 
right? Exactly. To make it exactly. timely. Um, exactly. so there's been a bunch of, of questions already in there about like the different ways to package. Cause I, cause as you mentioned, bye Ashi, try not to pee on the floor. Um, <laughs> As you mentioned, there's, you know, meditation, there's yoga, there's like the longer classes once a week, there's food. So can you kind of give the breakdown there of why the certain pack packages exist as they are right now? Yes. So um, th this is, we put a lot of work into this. Um, there is going to be a drop in option for everything, right? So if you just want to do a drop in yoga class, you can do that. If you want to drop in meditation, you can do that. If you want to drop in moving mythology you can do that but we're gonna have a class pack for, again this is the first month things may change but we're gonna have a class pack that gives you access to the two weekly lives and to the replays and then you know if you can't swing the full burrito which is exactly what the pass is called and it's what it sounds like it's the full burrito it's everything you can just pop in and you can do a drop in for a monthly so you know we we've really made sure and we might even post this like what you're saving, you know, it's hard, talking about money is weird and hard, but know your worth people. Um, <laughs> so we are going to make this available, but we also will be providing partial scholarships, full scholarships. So if you are unable to join the house for financial reasons and you need support, you can find us on the website. You can email tests at katherinebudig.com and we are making this a house for everybody. So we're gonna, we're gonna work this out. No one's gonna get turned away and it, it's gonna be awesome yeah. it's gonna be and, oh. and are gonna have this option a pay it forward pass so if you are in a financial situation where you can share then if you donate there this is gonna go into the bucket so that we can help people who are struggling to get passes so that's going to be the save a work the community so we can support everybody awesome um so so i know you've gotten this question a couple times Oh, you know, in social media DMs and stuff. And I just saw it here. So I will answer as the professional moderator of this event. The House of Phoenix is where you can get my wife, who I find incredibly adorable and charming. The, the House of Phoenix is where you can get Catherine's yoga going forward. This is the only location where it will be. If you love practicing with Catherine, this future. is the spot it will be in. With all future, future, all future stuff, it will be at the House of Phoenix so keep that in mind that that is the place where all new Catherine yoga and everything else that we're talking about here will be dropping. There's been a bunch of questions. I know we're, we don't like to get too far ahead of ourselves at the House of Phoenix, or do we? I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's a couple questions here about workshops. What's your thinking about that? Um, yes, I, I've got so my brain is so tired, y'all. Oh, man, it is overworked. But I have so many things that I want to create and I want to provide. And I want to do courses and I want to do workshops and I want to do really cool bundles. Um, so yes, expect all sorts of goodness. This is just the beginning. So um, it's a big shift for me. It's a, become a full-time job, especially after quarantine when my full-time job was watching Netflix. So um, yes, we're going to start nice and simple like this and then more and more is going to come on and we want your suggestions so you can email us on the website instagram anything that's missing in your life that you would like to see tell me i want to hear your ideas because you all fuel me so i can get the good stuff out there yeah um i can say for everyone uh, on this as having intimately watched you on this project the last few months that it's been really fun watching you dive so deep into it and get so excited you you've been partnering with amazing people i know tess is on here steven over in belfast like this has been something that at first you're like okay i'm gonna dabble in this and all of a sudden you just plunged into it um can you can you just share with everyone what it, what the process has been like for you sure i well i have to give credit to sean corn because sean corn who's a dear friend and a mentor of mine. She's been teaching over at Union Fit, which is where House of Phoenix is going to be hosted. And she was like, girl, get over here. And she walked me through everything. There's always been full transparency. And, and you know, she wants to support everyone. It's part of the reason why I have Phoenix friends, because she taught me that at a young age that you support everybody. And, um, you know, I, I kind of was like, cool, you know, I'm not gonna do what you're doing because if you look at Sean's offerings, which you should, she puts out a lot. It's insane. That woman is beast and she, I bow down. And so I was like, no, 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 you know, I'm going to start out simple, maybe one class a week, something like that. And it is 
very much my personality to say I'm going to do one class a week and then build an entire home. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of the things that happen in my life, it's kind of comically accidental, but I just get so passionate and excited about something that it's hard to stop. So again, going back to the workshops and stuff, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning and we're all going to build this together until we find something that like, this is the home. This is where we want to live. Yeah. It's been, it's been, and again, folks, uh, my, my radio hosting background here, I pinned the website right here, www.thehouseofphoenix.com. If you want to check out everything we're talking about, the, the, the new home for all Catherine yoga going forward. And um, so because so much of this, so much of what you do, and this is one thing I, when, when I first took your yoga classes, and I wasn't a yogi, but as a writer, I loved, I remember distinctly, we were, I was in um, a pose like this, my arms are stretched. Well, and, you're um, out of your traps, relax your traps. Um, anyway, and you, you did this thing where you like, pretend like you're a butterfly encased in glass and of course you're like but you don't we don't like when our butterflies are encased in glass but sometimes we need we need to inspect them and every time I do warrior two I I think of that and I know so many of your students recognize the little bits of storytelling and beauty and metaphor that you put into your classes that is all a tee up to say that can you can you just share a little bit about the phoenix and what the house me h-a-u-s yeah, and the storytelling and just the origin of this back to your adorable chubby cheek days in Kansas. My chubby cheek days. I the magic for those of you who know me, magic and storytelling and mythology has always been so ingrained in who I am, and it's something that I've struggled with because I've been ridiculed for it throughout my life. You know that it's not the mature thing to talk about magic and story. And um, again, launching the Inky Phoenix, my book club last year, where I really leaned into that magic and saw the response. Hi, Rachel. Um, it, it fueled me. And it fueled me because it, it wasn't only, oh, there are other adults out there that want magic too. You know, it, it brought us together. It created community. And yes, Anna from Germany house, it is a Germanic word. And to me, the spelling of house, H-A-U-S, it has this magical connotation to it. You know, it brings me back to the woods and the fairy tales and where things go bump in the night and you don't know what's gonna happen and what creatures are gonna crawl out. So not that it's a creepy house, don't worry, it's not gonna be scary. But I, I loved that, that immediately when you see that name, it evokes a feeling. And then the phoenix, the myth of the phoenix, the bird that every thousand years settles into its nest and it lights up and it dies and then it is reborn. It started out as the book club because we do a monthly pick. So that's our Phoenix is it burns bright and then we start over. And isn't that yoga friends? I mean, we maybe not exactly, but start in child's pose and you end in corpse every single practice. I mean, that's what the asana practice is. It's this representation of life and reincarnation and cycles. And it just felt like the most appropriate thing to do because I have been reborn many times in many different ways in my life and I'm not stopping anytime soon. So I wanted to create a home where we can all nurture that, where we can burn and we can shed our skin and start over and mess up and, and find what it is that's magical and important to us. Yeah. The, that whole idea of cycles, like with the, the, the specific cycle of the Phoenix and then the cycle of a, yo a yoga class. I think watching you over the last, take it out of my traps, take it out of my traps over the last <laughs> <laughs> six years has been interesting because there's such a parallel to a lot of like athletes I talk to where it's like this thing that you love, but you go through cycles of it. And then watching this with the house of Phoenix as well. And that cycle that you have with yoga, can you share, can you, can you share a little bit about something that you've been doing now for 20 years, like just connecting with people over like the cycle of coming back to yoga and then, you know, exploring other things and then coming back to yoga. Cause I think there'll be a lot of people who fall in love with the way you teach yoga who maybe are coming back to it or who have had it in their minds as something they want to do before. So what is that cycle like, been like for you when it comes to your relationship with yoga? 
Oh man, I I started yoga when I was young. I was doing Ashtanga, and and by the way, the house is dedicated to Mati. That's that was my mentor. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, it, it's crazy because I started so young and kind of motion. I, I started so young, and the, the physical part was so important to me in the beginning. You know, I was doing a shtanga, and that's like foot behind the head and handstands and pick up and jump back. And, and it, it, it was very much about the physical body. And I, I did find that that was exciting because it is empowering when you recognize that with dedication, your body can do these things. But obviously, as life continues, you realize the physical body is not always there for you. And it may not respond in the way that you want it to. And... And so while the asana practice is exciting, and of course, like I'll teach you handstands and there'll be arm balances and all of that, but it, it's not about your worth. The, the posture does not, it's not equivalent to your self-worth. And that's something that I think a lot of us as yogis have to learn and, and that unrolling the mat, it's about the community. It's about clearing the fluctuations of the mind it's about getting, I mean, y'all know, I like to call it a meat suit, right? Like our body is a meat suit and it's, we're not defined by our weight or our shape or if we're able-bodied or not. It, it's about what comes up for us while we're in the practice. So I'm very excited through my almost 20 years of teaching yoga to be able to offer variations and a, a vast array of classes where they might be vinyasa clo or it, it might just be meditation or there's going to be chair yoga classes you know i really want to tap into a little bit of everything so that we recognize it's not just about doing 80 chaturangas or being able i mean i think saying posting something for instagram feels like so 2019 now like i think we all know that's not the point but just getting getting back to the true purpose yeah and i think that you've mentioned the inky phoenix a couple times because of very and you have alluded to this as well but just the the community that you have felt there and that you all experienced there i got to experience it when i joined one of the zooms and we talked about my you know my dad and my book and i it was it brought tears like i was crying i don't cry very often you know this well sure. catherine but i was pretty choked up just about the community and showing up and actually not just physically being present, but emotionally being present. And I think I've been so excited watching you develop this project because I think the community you can build that reflects both the Inky Phoenix, but it, it goes on the mat and it goes to recipes. And it's it, we've talked a lot about how when I play basketball and with yoga, with you and Mati, if you have someone that you're showing up for, it makes everything feel like it's downhill because you're connected to another human. And I think if, can you share a little bit about how focused you are on that, that aspect of the, of the community? Sure. And you know, side note, are there going to be witchy things? Yeah, they're definitely. Uh, I was coming back to that, but yes. Can't let that <laughs> slip. Um, my friend Tiffany Maloney, we're already in conversation about, you know, monthly like tarot readings or moon rituals. So yes, you can expect all of that um but yes part of the house like i know that most people know me for yoga and that many of y'all and i'm seeing your comments and i'm sorry i'm not responding to each individually kate has a, a lot of things to say and i don't want to interrupt her because she's a very good moderator <laughs> um, i'm reading all your comments and thank you thank you thank you um yoga it, it's so much you we all know this right it goes beyond the corners of the mat that's where it begins it's like this cute little island where we start and where we get inspired and I tell all my students this, and this applies to me in life. If you want to get inspired, if you want to relight your fire, often you don't go read more literature or do more about the specific thing that you want to get fired up about, right? Like if I want to be a better yoga teacher, that doesn't mean I need to go watch more yoga classes or take more yoga classes. It often means you need to like get outside in nature and look at the sky and sit down and get away from electronics and just let your brain be for a moment. and and see what kind of ideas float into your mind. So that's very much part of the essence of house. It's not just asana, it's not just yoga, just meditation. It's 
everything. And for me, yes, I'm going to be offering food and meditation and family and maybe a little bit of fashion. There might be a hot phoenix coming, H-A-U-T-E. Um, this is what keeps me inspired. So I figure if it's what keeps me motivated, inspired, hopefully it'll keep the house motivated, inspired as all well, as well. I, I don't want to be a moderator who talks too much, but I have to reset you because, okay. You yeah, I, I want to make sure I'm teeing up my wife beautifully. You do. Um, <laughs> look at me. Look at me soliciting pl positive reinforcement on your Instagram live. <laughs> um, but I pinned the house of Phoenix.com where you can check out everything that we're talking about here. And I, will you just share a little bit about the creation of of individual classes because I people have mentioned witchy ones and moon ones and I honestly believe if people are messaging you saying can you write imagine having access to you and saying yeah. can you write a exactly. moon class or whatever it is and you I think in in this community these are things that you will create for the people in this community because as a member of your community I was like can you do athlete yoga and you were like boom I'm on it exactly um, so what is your writing process like for, for this and like in the ways you want to bring a diversity of classes to, to this, to the, to the house? Yeah. Well, on a basic level, since, you know, uh, when, when I launch, so registration will open August 2nd, so you can get onto the site, you can buy your passes and that's when you'll be able to sample the library. And my goal is to have about 10 pieces already up on the library so you can bam, get right in and practice. And then obviously I'm gonna be doing two lives a week, so it's going to grow quickly. And then we have guest teachers and all that other goodness. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to feel, I want the foundations in the beginning. I wanna make sure there's a classic flow. I wanna make sure there's like good AM classes. Uh, you know, I wanna make sure there's a, a good solid meditations to go to. But, you know, beyond that, I always have my ideas and I know what I want as a practitioner. And then I'm trying to think outside of the box of what's missing out there. And also just from being a, a teacher online for so long, I've seen the response of what does well to certain classes and what people are craving. So I, I will be leaning into that. Everything heavily modified, and I don't mean it's not challenging for my students who like to go hard, but I will be giving verbal cues to like, this is how you step it up, this is how you step it down, just so there's as much accessibility per class as possible. But I've got lots of good ideas, you know? I. I, uh, I'm, Kate and I are going on a boat with Michael Franti in November and Gina Caputo and some other friends. And so uh, I'm going to be teaching a little like pirates on a boat class. <laughs> I, I mean, who knows what you're going to expect from that, but you know, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. So for me, I often just get inspired by what's happening in my life. I am definitely going to create a Ted Lasso class because Ooh. the world needs, we need some Ted Lasso yoga. Look. Go for it then. Give me give me the name of the first Ted Lasso class. Quick. Um, be a goldfish. Ooh, oh, wow! You're so good at improv. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Heather, will there be exercise beyond yoga? <laughs> yes, Amy. Believe. Uh, yes, there are going to be other modalities beyond yoga. I I personally do other modalities beyond yoga, so there will be classes that are not yoga but that are yoga touched yoga influenced you know i already there's going to be a class up right when in the library right away that if you want to do a little bit of weightlifting you can because as i get older it turns out weightlifting is really good for my well-being and my physical body um maybe a little bit of martial arts because i did love that very much and then i'm gonna try to bring on as many phoenix friends who, yes, there's going to be amazing yoga teachers and they'll be teaching what they do best. But I'm also trying to bring on trainer friends. Shauna Harrison is amazing and she teaches yoga, but she's also a bad ass trainer and she's going to come on and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm poking people trying to get the goodness. And again, it's just so you can sample them. And if you really love it, I don't know, maybe down the line, Phoenix friends will be like you'll have reoccurring teachers. But for now, it's it's going to be a sampling. So you can kind of, you know, see what's out there and be like, oh, I love that class. I definitely want to go check out their site, too. Yeah, um, I'm actually in the I'm actually in the room that that you'll be filming the oh. classes in. I'm in the 
I'm in the um the library. So um, this is the location. Ooh. Uh, okay. Thank you. Most important question: What is Ashi's role going to be in all of this? Mm. Well, Ashi is my sous chef, so uh, she will regularly be eating probably kale as I cook. Anything that drops, Ashi's going to go after. Uh, yes, people saying hire me, please, and all these suggestions. Yes, kids yoga. Um, my friend Ace Easter is already going to be hooking it up with a little kids yoga class, which I'm super pumped about that. And if this is something that you want to be part of, uh, again, just go to the website, shoot us an email so we have your information. I've got a lot of people lined up probably for the first six months or so, but I want to hear from you. I want to I wanna know what you're up to. And if you have teaching that you can share with me, I would love to see that. But again, like this is going to keep growing and evolving. And send suggestions. Oh, 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 wait. Also, something that's super cool about the lives and again, we're going to like put up videos with like technically how to do it. We got you. But if you come on to class early, I'm probably going to open class either 10 to 15 minutes before the live. You can come on and we can chat. There's going to be a little chat box so that we can talk to each other before we start practicing. And that is one of the reasons why I'm so excited to be at Union is to have that ability to talk with everybody. So we can just be like, hey, how's your day going today? Yeah, like, how's Ashi? Well, let me tell you. And we can connect before we start to practice. Awesome. And I, someone just came on and, and asked about classes yes. with mobility. mobility. There will be. Yep. Check. Yep. Check. yep. All right. So to recap for the people, www.thehouseofphoenix, spelled the German way, H-A-U-S, and I pinned it. Tell Well, you know what? You do this, Catherine. Tell the people where they can find you, what the game plan is, what the next steps are. You yep. wrap this up in Catherine Budig fashion. All y'all need to know for right now is starting tomorrow, every single day on the Instagram, the House of Phoenix, we are going to be posting little teasers every day to give you a taste of what's to come. And we're going to be breaking down all the offerings, how to do it. So if you want to learn more about what the House of Phoenix is going to be like, just stay tuned on the Instagram page. That's where I'm going to be dropping everything so I don't like slam you too hard on my Catherine Budig page. You can also visit thehouseoffoenix.com. All the info is there. And once we go live on Union Fit, everything's going to be hyperlinked. So you can boom, snap. It'll take you right to passes. It'll take you directly to that class, all of that. And then we're going to post weekly schedules on the Instagram and website so you know what's coming up. Like it, it's going to be the, the goal is to make this as user friendly as possible. I'm sure there will be hiccups, but we are we are going to work as well as possible. Oh, hello, Catherine, not spelled like me. It's nice to see. <laughs> so many ways. Yeah. Well, Catherine, love got, of my life, human. I'm up from the airport, and if I don't pick her up, she's gonna be pissed. So, right. for coming on, I uh, I, I just. I cannot express, this was very scary for me uh, to be completely transparent. <laughs> like making this change in my life and deciding to do this was really scary. And thank you for supporting me. I mean, I know it hasn't technically started yet, but the enthusiasm that everyone has shown so far, whew, I thank you. It, 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 it really speaks to my heart. So thank you all, all right. and I promise to show up in the same way that you've shown up for me. Go get Mama Beautic. I gotta go get the mama beauty. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thanks.